It's not always easy to see the Earth's crust. It is covered by vegetation and oceans. But if you could drain the Earth's oceans and strip away our planet's vegetation, the Earth might look something like this. Now we can see the Earth's hard outer shell. And if you look closely, you can also see where the shell is cracked. The red glowing lines mark the places where the Earth's shell is cracked into small and large pieces called tectonic plates. Each plate carries a continent, or an ocean basin, or sometimes both. The plates are moving one to two inches a year in different directions, carrying continents and ocean basins with them. Millions of years ago, the Earth looked something like this, every continent in a different position. They were so close together, they formed a single supercontinent called Pangaea. But even then, the continents were moving a few inches a year and kept moving until they reached their present day positions. The theory that continents move is called continental drift. When you look at a globe today, you are looking at only a moment in time because the continents are still moving, inches a year, too slow to see as they move farther and farther apart. Then the continents will stop moving apart. They will change directions, coming together once again. Millions of years from now, scientists expect the world to look entirely different. Every continent in a new position, carried there by the moving plates. While we can't see this movement occurring, we can see the effects. <laughs>